to Audio Freak. This is your friend Tong. Today's video, I want to share with you guys a Logic recording template that I created. It's based off of Alex Tumay's recording template that he uses in Pro Tools for Young Thug. Um, it's you. It's using Logic stock plugin, so you should have no problem opening it. And I will put the download link in the description below. So let's go ahead and get started and I'll give you the rundown of the recording template and how it works. So first when you uh, download the file from the link, you'll double click it and you'll get a folder. Inside that folder will be a folder and a recording template uh, file. You'll just click and drag it, drop it in there. I'm not going to do it because I already have one in there. Um, so once you do that, you'll open up Logic. We'll open this mug up. And we'll create a new project from a template. Click OK. And you should see the recording template there. And what you'll do is uh, choose this one. And we'll create a new session. And this pops up. So let me give you guys a basic ba uh, breakdown on how this template works. So uh, the beat goes here on this track. You'll, you'll click and drag the beat. So let's go ahead and do that. I got a beat in on the desktop that I made. And we'll put that there. So we got a beat, right? And I'm going to want to turn this beat down a little bit because it's kind of loud. So I'm going to turn it down to maybe like negative 11. And once we have that, we're going to, what we want to do is match this beat up to the tempo. So what I got is a BPM counter already here. You just engage it and you play it. All right, so it says the BPM is 80. So we'll go here, we'll type in 80. Well, so we got the 80 BPM and now we'll click on the metronome and see if it matches up. And it does. Cool. And the reason I do that is because it makes things a lot easier to move around. So if I want to cut out a bar, it create it cuts out, you know, exactly a bar. If you want to cut out like, you know, a, it, it, it goes by the BPM. It's matched to the tempo. So everything cuts out where it needs to cut out instead of like some random spot or whatever. So you could do things like this. And like this. Because it, it goes on to the beat, you know. It's always going to snap to the beat because it's locked to the tempo. And it makes it easy for uh, you to uh, copy and paste your hook exactly on time on um, in the next section of the song or whatever. It makes everything a lot easier. So, all right, now that we got the beat knocked out, We'll go to the recording track. This is where you will record all your vocals. You'll record your vocals here, and you'll move the vocal files to their dedicated places. Like, okay, your verse here, your overdubs here, your ad libs here, your hooks here. And all of these have no plugins on them because they're routed to a bus that has plugins on them. That way, you don't have to use a whole bunch of plugins for all these. They're all already set up on here, and all these files share the plugins on the buses. So you got your verse, all your boxes go to your verse bus, your dub tracks go to your dub bus, your ad libs go to the ad libs, hook goes to the hook, and all your effects are here too so you can add effects to anything they're all labeled everything's already you know done up for you so one and a half you know delay one quarter delay eighth delay eighth note delay um chorus everything's laid out and so just to give you a um like an example uh, the recording track here has plugins and you'll be able to record your voice through these plugins and hear how your voice sounds through these plugins while you're recording. So um, 
I'm using software monitoring, which means that I have my Apogee uh, Symphony's uh, thing muted. So when I start to record, I'll you know I'll have all of my you know interface mic channels record or muted here, and I'll be monitoring through Logic through its plugins. So we'll go ahead and do that. So now you're hearing me through the plugins. Go ahead and take these off. All right, so now you're hearing me through Logic's uh, monitoring, which has all the plugins here. You can change the settings. It's it's pretty cool. So um, if you need auto tune or whatever, I have Waves Tune real time. You can add that in also, and you'll be able to monitor in uh, Waves Tune. Do in real time so while you're recording you can monitor and use waves tune or whatever so let's go ahead and try something out I'll show you how this works so we'll record like a regular session da, 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 da. hey oh I need some reverb okay we'll engage the reverb uh, turn the reverb down a little bit that's too much okay we'll turn it down We'll delete that. We'll go back. All right. Da, 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 da. This is the intro. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Now we'll move that down here. And uh, we'll continue recording. And this uh, is routed to here. So all this will go through these plugins. So you just keep going. Da, 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 da. This is the intro. Blah, blah, blah. Intro, intro, punch in, blah, 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 here comes the hook. Intro, intro, punch in, blah, 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 here comes the hook. This is the hook, this is the hook, this is the hook, this is the hook. All right, so we'll move that down to the hook. And if you hold shift while you drag and click and drag, it'll keep it in time. So if you just like, you know, want to bring it up here, you just press and hold shift and boom, it it'll lock, lock it to where it was, where you moved it from. Let's just keep on going. Intro, intro, punch in, blah, 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 blah. Here comes the hook. Here comes the hook. This is the hook. This is the hook. This is the hook. All right. We'll put that there. Blah, blah, blah. Here comes the hook. This is the hook. This is the hook. This is the hook. This is the hook. And boom. And let's go to. All right. Let's say the verse is right after the hook. All right. This is the hook. This is the hook. This is the hook. This is the verse. This is the verse. This is the verse. This is the verse. Boom. We'll move it here. And let's say you want some ad libs for that verse. Blah, blah, blah. Here comes the hook. Here comes the hook. This is the hook. This is the hook. This is the hook. This is the verse. This is the verse. This is the verse. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so well, let's say we call that the ad lib, right? So it goes into its own its own bus, which is the. This is the verse. This is the verse. This is the verse. This is. All right, let's say after the verse, um, you you want the hook again. So what we'll go is absolute relative value, uh, which is snap relative value. It means it'll snap in place at the relative value of where it's coming from. So we'll. Hold option, click and drag, select them all, hold option, click, drag, and we will we'll put it right here. And let's say this is where the hook comes in. This is the verse, this is the verse. Here comes the hook, this is the hook, this is the hook, this is the hook. 
So it makes everything super simple, super easy to organize, record, move things around. Everything's locked to the tempo. Everything already has effects in it. You can go ahead and tweak the effects. They're all logics, um, stock effects and stuff like that. So you should have no problem. All right. Well, I hope this thing helps you guys out. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.